Welcome to the video, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Um, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Visit ctones.com. We have officially launched our um, brand new MS Pro brush. Super excited about this brush. This brush has been a long time in the making. It is a much different brush than the brushes that nail techs are used to. I think that we're used to brushes that start off, um, you know, nice and fluffy and perfect. And within the next couple of months, it's already time to replace it. So we've been working really hard on a brush that you really won't have to replace if you take good care of it. So we're introducing the C-Tones MS Pro brush and it comes in three sizes. And this size you see over here is our MS-14 and it's just fluffed up um, because it's already been opened, but it has not been pinched yet. So this is our MS-14. And our MS-14 is our deluxe brush. And basically what deluxe means is it's perfect for um, beginners, people who are just starting, um, for nail techs that have been practicing, but now they're ready to move on to clients for techs who have maybe an eight brush or a 10 brush or even a 12 brush. And maybe you're not going as fast as you want to go. And this MS-14 is the perfect brush to upgrade to if you're really going to take the, your nail career seriously. Um, to me, I, I like to call this brush the starter brush, but really it's just a deluxe brush because it, it's suitable for someone who's been in the industry for 10 years. It's all about you and your preference. Um, there are beginners who want the MS-17, which is a much bigger brush. Um, so I'm going to show you each brush individually, and then we're going to pinch them. So this is the MS-14. And they do come... Um, already starched so they they have already been shaped and molded and then you do have the option on the website if you'd like it pinched or not so as you can see there's really not a huge difference in how long the bristles are the difference is really in the body of the brush how thick the brush is how much fur is in the brush in this is a hundred percent Kalinsky fiber so we're very proud to present this brush because it's the perfect brush for every nail tech. So this is the MS-16, and we like to call this brush the Elite. And the reason why is I, I wanted to call it the Pro Brush. <laughs> this is just going to be the MS-16 Pro, and that's what we we're going to call it. And that's because for years and years and years of my career, I used a 16 brush. A 16 always got the job done, no matter how big or how small, the set was, the length, the amount of designs, artwork, all that good stuff. This number 16 brush always gets the job done. It's for the professional nail tech, the seasoned nail tech, the nail tech who wants to speed up, all of that good stuff. Um, this number 16, this MS-16 Elite brush is the perfect brush for any and all nail techs. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small. And like I said, it gets the job done. You can pick up a tiny bead. You can pick up the perfect bead for a one ball method. It's definitely up to you how you use this brush, but there are unlimited possibilities with this number 16 MS-16 Elite brush. And last but not least, we have the MS-17. So I'm pretty sure you guys are like, why didn't, why isn't it just called the number 18 brush like, you know, <laughs> any other regular company, right? Well, there's a reason why this is not the number 18 brush. And it's because it's not a number 18. It's in between a 16 and an 18. But it really can't be classified as a number 18 brush because it's not that big. But it does have more body than our MS-16. It is thicker in girth, um, and the handle is also a little bit bigger. Um, for nail technicians like myself, I like to say that I have a big hand. I have big hands. I, I feel like I have big hands because 
my hands are bigger than 90% of my clients. Or maybe it's because I'm an artist or I'm a creator. That's what I've been told before. And that's why I have big hands. But because I have bigger hands <laughs> than the average woman, I feel, um, I enjoy a brush with a bigger handle. Um, in addition to that, number 17 is my lucky number. So you really can't go wrong with that. But I think this brush is perfect for the nail tech that has been in the game for a little while. She, uh, not even a little while, just she's got some time under her belt. And because of that, she has mastered acrylic application. Um, she's mastered the one ball method. She's mastered the two bead method. She knows how to manipulate her acrylic. Um, she knows how to manipulate ratio and consistency. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm using the pronoun she so much because I know there's so many nail kings and nail brothers in the world, so I apologize. Um, but this is for the nail tech that um, doesn't need to brush up on their skills. This is for the nail tech that has some time under their belt and they are ready for a big brush or they've been using a big brush and they just want to, you know, me personally, I, I like to upgrade my brush, but unfortunately over these years, I haven't been able to find too many brushes that top the brush that I have until now. So here we are with our MS-17 brush. I love this brush. This brush is called the MS-17 Master Brush and it lives up to its name. I truly feel like women and men nail techs in general who have mastered their craft should use this brush or for nail techs that are trying to master their craft or trying to master the one bead method this is the perfect brush it's not as big as an 18 but it does pick up a larger bead than the 16. so it's an amazing brush guys it's called the ms17 master brush So now it's time to do some pinching. Um, personally, I don't like to pinch my brushes too um, too firmly. I like a very, very light, easy pinch. Um, and the reason being is because you really pick up the perfect bead if your brush is pinched correctly. And we're under um, the misconception that brushes really need to be pinched hard or um, crimped, you know, um, too much or, or too thin or too oval shaped but you really don't want to take the shape away from your brush you just want to alter it a little bit you want it to go from a circle to an egg so we're going to start with the number 16 brush and then we're going to start with these pliers these pliers i got from the dollar tree um i haven't really been able to find them at any dollar tree since these are the only ones that i found uh, months and months and months ago, but if you would like these, um, I believe they're called slip knot pliers. You can find them, of course, in the auto section at Walmart. You can also find them if if you're one of the people like me who does not like Walmart. Walmart gives me anxiety. Um, <laughs> you can always go to AutoZone, and they have them right in the front at AutoZone, so you don't have to go looking around and looking crazy. And they're literally guys like three four bucks not a lot at all and that's if you're into pinching your own brush i prefer um uh for you guys to let a professional do it um because it's so easy to ruin a 30 dollar brush it's so easy and once you pinch it too hard you cannot unpinch it unfortunately so you want to do it right the first time or you want to pinch it not too hard the first time and then you can always go back and pinch it a little bit more but it's always better to under pinch than over pinch your brush so i'm making sure that they close all the way they have a grip on them and so a lot of times when i see people pinching their brushes they pinch the brush like this and I mean, that's common sense. That's, you know, that's where you want your brush to be pinched at. So that's where you start pinching. But really the secret to pinching a brush is pinching it up here at the very, very tip of the barrel. The barrel is this metal part. That's where you want to pinch. You don't want to pinch all the way down here or else you will flatten your brush way too much and the bead you pick up, you'll be so unhappy with it. You, you'll want to stop doing acrylic. 
So you wanna come all the way up here to the tip of your brush. And you wanna do a very light squeeze. You don't wanna squeeze the life out of the brush. You just wanna squeeze it enough to alter the shape of the barrel from that round shape to a slight egg shape. So as you can see, you can see the mark from where I've pinched it at. And the brush, you <laughs> honestly, it, when you look at the bristles, you, you can't see a difference. But I promise you, I assure you, that there is a huge difference in how this brush will operate. Well, actually, since we're here, <laughs> I will show you the difference because this is also um, an MS-14 Deluxe brush and it has not been pinched. So you see this one that has been and this one that has not been. So I'm gonna take out my dappin' dish. And I don't need a lot of monomer. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick demo. And I'm gonna use um, one of our newer colors on ctones.com. I love this color. And it's right on time for autumn. It's called Olive Music. And obviously it's Olive. <laughs> So I'm gonna pick up a bead with my unpinched brush first. And you wanna make sure when you're using your brush for the first time, you thoroughly, thoroughly clean your brush out. You don't want to um, go straight into acrylic. And the reason why is because you don't know what's in your brush when you first get it. And you don't know who handled it before you. And no matter how new, brand new it is, it was still handled by someone before you. So you wanna make sure that you clean your brush out very, very well, not only for um, performance purposes, but also for sanitation purposes. So I'm just going to pick up a bead with my unpinched brush. So something I want you guys to notice when I'm picking up a bead with my unpinched brush is one, I really don't have a lot of ratio and liquid control because the brush is so thick. And as you can see, when I turn the brush over to this side, there's acrylic on this side as well. So it's on this side and it's also on this side. I know this is gonna make some of you guys cringe how I'm going to waste this acrylic right now. I'm just gonna <laughs> lay that down off of my brush because now it's way too dry because I did the demonstration. Um, it's also a fairly large bead. So now I'm gonna show you how um, a bead looks when I pick it up with my newly pinched brush. a little bit on this side but as you can see the bead is is smaller and that's what it's supposed to be and again guys this is um, the MS 14 deluxe brush and as you can see, um, the 1B method is absolutely possible. And that's why we decided not to call it the starter brush because it's not just for starters. It's not just for beginners. It's literally for everybody, for every nail technician. But if you want to see what all the hype is about and maybe um, you're not yet comfortable with a 16 or an 18, the 14 is the perfect brush for you. I use a number 14 brush for the first two to three years of my career. And then I um, bumped upwards to my 16 brush. 
So again, this color is called Olive Music, in, in case you just love this color. <laughs> but that was not the purpose of the video. The video was to show you um, the difference between a pinched brush and an unpinched brush. Well, I'm sorry, that was not the purpose of the video. That's just where we, we ended up at. Um, but as you can see with this brush, when you bring it to a point, it comes to a, well, kind of, <laughs> it comes to an actual point. Whereas a flattened brush, a pinched brush, a crimped brush, um, it really comes to a flat, consistent point. And the point of your brush um, makes a huge difference in your acrylic application because you need the point of your brush. You need the very tip of your brush. Um, you need it for blending. You need it for ombre. You need it for... Um, cuticle work. You need it for cleaning up the side of the nail when you flood the cuticles. Um, all of that good stuff. So if your brush is not pinched, you really don't have those options um, because your brush will not flatten accordingly to get to those areas that you need to get to um, the way that a pinched brush would. So there is a huge difference in um, brush anatomy when it's pinched as opposed to when it's not pinched. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, again, I want to just show you the brushes. This is the MS-14. It's what we just used to swatch this um, swatch stick. It's the MS-14 Deluxe. It is available on ctones.com. So if you're a beginner, if you are looking to upgrade your brush, if number 14 is just the brush for you, um, definitely give it a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. We have our ms16 elite brush and this is for the more professional nail tech or for the nail tech that wants to speed up their timing and their acrylic application or for the nail tech that does long nails all the time um you have your ms16 elite brush and this is the perfect brush for all nail techs and last but last last but not least, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the MS17 Master Brush. It lives up to its name. It is for acrylic masters. For those of you who have mastered your craft, you've been in the game for some time, you got some notches under your belt, you're doing long nails, short nails, one bead method, um, 10 colored acrylic ombre, <laughs> all of that good stuff. This is for that tech. So if you are that tech, this is the perfect brush for you. The MS-17 Master Brush. Um, doesn't it have a ring to it? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. And you guys have a wonderful day, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Stay blessed. Thank you guys. Check out ctones.com.